guys what's up yesterday apple released ios 8 to the public and a lot has changed since then because some of the biggest changes have been actually applications on the app store utilizing these new features so in this video i want to go over some of the alternative keyboards that you can install on your device right now so i'm going to be sharing my three favorite keyboards and now the first one i'm going to be going over is swift key now this keyboard is 100% free and pretty much overall my favorite keyboard that's been released so far now all you gotta do is download it and then follow the instructions in the settings to activate your keyboard and it'll look something like this. So here you can see I have the keyboard in action. It allows you to swipe your finger across letter to letter to, act, to type words and you can see me uh, demoing it right now. You can see also on the very top of the keyboard it has sort of a prediction uh, button where you can choose uh, better predictions and it needs to access uh, the internet for that. Uh, you also have your traditional secondary uh, buttons like you would on the original keyboard. Now the keyboard is absolutely free and as far as I'm concerned uh, they're really not trying to sell anything so I think this is overall uh, the best opportunity especially if you don't want to be putting uh, any money up. Now here in the video I showcased uh, the white version now it also comes with a different theme which is a black version and more in the future uh, maybe those will be paid maybe they're not but the features it comes with is definitely worth the download and it definitely deserves uh, the spot it's in in the app store the second keyboard I want to go over is called Flexi and this one is paid and it'll cost you one dollar or you can use free app life uh, to get it for free and I'll talk about that the end of the video. Anyways, uh, this keyboard is a little unique. It allows you to customize it uh, with pretty much any color settings that you want and also adjust the sizes and it's uh, pretty much what its name indicates is a really flexible keyboard. So I'll just be opening up the application that it comes with and sort of showing you what the keyboard is. So you can see it's more minimalistic. You don't see uh, too much dividers between all the keys and allows you to swipe down to get rid of uh, the bottom portion of the keyboard. Now I guess that would be useful if you're trying to type a long message or something and don't want to uh, take up the space, uh, take up the rest of the keyboard uh, with all of the stuff on the bottom. Now you can do that with the buttons on the top uh, in the demo and not only that you can go from a large keyboard so you can make it actually larger uh, than a normal uh, keyboard and you can also use their small option which makes it a bit smaller so uh, depending on uh, the screen size of the phone you're using and if you want uh, to be able to see more of the screen or uh, to more accurately type. Now it comes with a few uh, themes for free you can change the color around but to unlock all the other themes will cost you even more uh, on top of the dollar that you spent uh, for the app. Now if you think this is more of appealing uh, keyboard and you don't really buy into the swiping uh, that a lot of the other keyboards uh, give you an option. This is a great uh, pick. It feels really well and it integrates all these customization options. Now the last keyboard I wanted to talk about is Swipe. Now it's currently the number one paid application in the App Store and it'll cost you a dollar or you can get it for free on Free App Life. Now it's owned by Nuance, which uh, is a company that has a lot to do with the back end of Siri and a lot of other uh, voice applications in the past. Now what I like most about this is you don't actually have to give Swipe uh, access to their servers and communications with your keyboard, so that makes it a little more secure and make it so uh, none of your information gets out, unlike SwiftKey. Now on the downside, I don't really like the design as much. I really haven't used them enough to determine which is better at learning words and which one has ultimately a better accurate accuracy in the algorithm. But I have to say, I get this if you're worried about uh, privacy, but uh, ultimately I don't even think the design uh, is any better. In fact, the little uh, orange line that it makes uh, is a little bit choppy, especially on an older device like this iPod Touch and Swift's key seem to work uh, perfectly fine. Now at the end of the day it just uh, has to do with preference whether you'd rather have a little bit more security possibly uh, or just a free keyboard uh, that you can download and not pay for at all. And speaking of free, uh, we've actually added both of these premium keyboards to Free App Life. So if you want to get them both uh, for free but you don't actually want to pay money, if you saw, if you thought Swipe was uh, more interesting or if you like Flexi, just go to freeapplife.com on your iPhone and uh, you can download 
uh, and discover new apps, earn points, and use those points uh, to redeem both the keyboards for free. If you go into the rewards section, uh, you will notice uh, that we just added both of those uh, four rewards, so you can just uh, quickly redeem those uh, onto your App Store account. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys uh, later.